Now let us see the second method of financial statement analysis that is common size financial statement analysis method. Under this method, all the items of financial statement is converted into percentage of the biggest item in such statement. For example, in a common size profit and loss account, all items are expressed as a percentage of sales and in a common size balance sheet, all items are expressed as a percentage of total assets or total liabilities. So let us see the practical problems. From the following particulars, prepare a common size income statement. Common size income statement we have to prepare. So sales, cost of materials, wages, fact expenses or office administration expenses and selling expenses are given and again company paid 8000 as interest and taxes were paid at 35%. So we have to prepare an income statement where the biggest item will be the sales. So each item in an income statement are converted into a percentage of sales. Okay, we'll do this. Here is a statement. Common size income statement, particulates amount in rupees, value in percentage, that is item of income statement divided by biggest amount will be sales into 100. First let us take sales. So what is the amount of sale? Sale amount is 4 lakh. Value in percentage, item is here sales only, value is 4 lakh and again biggest amount also sales into 100. So sales percentage to the amount of sales that is 100 percent minus variable cost that is material cost and wages material and wages material amount is 1 lakh 20 thousand 1 lakh 20 thousand divided by sales 4 lakh into 100 so it is 30 percent Less wages, wages amount is 70,000. So 70,000 divided by sales into 100. 17.5% is the percentage of wages to the sales. Sales minus variable cost is contribution, that is 2,10,000. So percentage of contribution to the sales, 2,10,000. Divided by 4 lakh into 100, it is 52.5 percent, or else you can uh, uh, minus the figures from the sales, you will get the uh, same. Less fixed cost, factory expenses, amount is 30,000, convert it to the it into the percentage of sales, so you will get. 7.5 percent office and administration expenses 12,500 to sales percentage is 3.125 percent selling expenses 13,600 so percentage of selling expenses to sales is 3.4% here we getting operating profit or EBIT that is 1,53,900 and calculate the percentage of EBIT to the sales that is 1,53,900 divided by 4 lakh into 100 that is 38.475%. Less interest given in problem that is 8000. That is 2%. So earning before tax 1,45,900 and in percentage to sales is 36.47%. Tax at 35% on operating profit. It is 51,065 and percentage of tax to the sales is 12.77%. So profit after tax is 
94,835 and in total to the percentage of sales profit to the percentage of sales 94,835 divided by 4 lakh into 100 that is 23.71 percent next problem number 7 following is the balance sheet of rogue element limited as on 31st December 2009 share capital reserve profit and loss account debentures creditors building plan data stock and cash prepare balance sheet as a common size statement so in case of balance sheet the biggest item will be it is the total asset or total liabilities so each item in a balance sheet that are converted into the percentage of assets or liabilities so particulars amount value in percentage item divided by total sales into 100 let us take first uh, on the liability side equities and liabilities so first item is shareholders fund under the share capital share capital value is 1 lakh convert share capital to the percentage of assets or liabilities so 1 lakh divided by 2 lakh 50 thousand into 100 so it is 40 percent then reserves and profit and loss account that also we have to convert to the amount of force total assets and we'll be getting 12 percent and 14 percent next item on the liability side is non-current liabilities there is only one non-current liability that is debenture and debenture amount is 40,000 and convert it to into the percentage of total assets or liabilities that is 2,50,000 so the percentage of debentures to the total assets is 16 percent current liabilities there is only one current liability that is creditor percentage of creditor to total assets is 18 percent so total is 2,50,000 and uh, the percentage is definitely it is 100% assets under that first component is fixed asset so building and plant is there together we are taking it is 1,35,750 and we converted it into the percentage of total assets and we got uh, that 54.3 percentage then current assets there are three current assets here data stock and cash so total current asset is 1,14,250 and converted and we got a percentage of it to the total assets is 45.7% total assets is 2,50,000 and percentage is 100 let us see the next problem the best diplomat limited presented its statement of income for the year ending 31st March 2015 and 2000 respectively two years income statement given prepare the common size income statement for the two years so we have to prepare common size income statement for both the year so sales minus cost of goods sold so here if you detect this you will be getting what profit before interest tax depreciation and amortization so then later you have to detect interest then discount on debentures depreciation so like that each component that you have convert it into the percentage of sales and you have to see what is a profit after tax and its percentage to the sales so two years statement we are preparing together first take sales so sales 10 lakh and its percentage to sales it is 100 percent and in case of 2016 12 lakh and percentage 100 less cost of goods sold 7 lakh 25 thousand divided by 10 lakh into 100 72.5 percent 8 lakh divided by 12 lakh into 100 66.67 percentage and the answer is called if you deduct Profit before interest, depreciation, tax and amortization. Amortization means if there is a discount on issue of shares or debentures. That should be written off. So the answer is 2,75,000 and percentage is 
परसेंट इन टू थाउजेंड फोर लैक एंड परसेंटेज इज थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंटेज इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन डिप्रिसिएशन एंड अमोटाइजेशन ऑफ डिस्काउंट ऑन इश्यू ऑफ डिपेंस टू गैदर वी आर डिडक्टिंग फ्रॉम पी बी आई डी आई टी डी ए सो थर्टी प्लस फाइव थाउजेंड थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड परसेंटेज इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड प्लस फाइव थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू पॉइंट जीरो एट इज इट्स परसेंटेज टू दी सेल्स लेट्स इंटरेस्ट फोर्टी थाउजेंड फोर्टी थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई टेन लैक इन टू हंड्रेड इट इज फोर परसेंट सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई ट्वेल्व लैक इन टू हंड्रेड फाइव पॉइंट फोर टू परसेंट प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स इज टू लैक एंड परसेंटेज इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट थ्री लैक टेन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट एट थ्री परसेंट लेक्स लेस टैक्स एंड इट इज गिवन इन अमाउंट ओनली सो एटी थाउजेंड एंड इट्स परसेंटेज टू सेल्स इज एट परसेंट and in 2016 95000 percentage to sales is 7.92% so earning after tax is 120000 in 2015 and its percentage to sales is 12% 215000 its percentage to sales is 17.91% so total profit to the percentage of sales we can see here from previous year to the current year it is increased so from 12% to 17.9% so you can absorb the changes here